Hi, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for checking out this recorded version of our online open house. My name is Andy, and I am a Senior Enrollment and Marketing Specialist here at PA Virtual. I help families in grades K through 6 learn more about the school, and I also help them through the application process. Also with us today is one of our parent ambassadors, Cindy Dingledine. Cindy, would you like to say hello? Here I am on camera. I am excited about being here today, and thank you for having me, Andy. I look forward to the presentation. All righty. Thank you, Cindy. Now that we've both said hello, I'm going to go off camera for the rest of the presentation so you can just focus on the slides ahead of you. So what you'll learn today. To help you know what to expect, here's an overview of the information we'll be going over in today's open house. If, after listening to the presentation, you still have questions, we encourage you to give us a call. We'll tell you more about how to reach us at the end of the presentation. About PA Virtual. PA Virtual Charter School is a nonprofit public school that is approved and monitored by the PA Department of Education. Because we are a public school, our program is offered to your family tuition free. You can see on this slide a list of materials and services that we provide, and I'll be going over the services later in this presentation. You can see that we provide everything a family needs for the academic year at no cost to the family. We were one of the first ch cyber charter schools in the state of Pennsylvania, opening our virtual doors on September 4th, 2001. With over 15 years of experience under our belts, you can say that we have definitely been a pioneer in developing programs and practices that many cyber schools use today. Our main office is located in King of Prussia, PA, just outside of Philadelphia. And we have a regional office in Monroeville, PA, just outside of Pittsburgh. We have over 2,000 students, and both our teachers and students are located in areas all across the state. Each grade level is led by a certified principal, just like you'd see at your local school district. Our board is comprised of current and former PA virtual parents. And our virtual board meetings are open to the public so staff and families can stay informed of what's happening behind the scenes. Now let's start digging into how things work here at PA Virtual. We use a variety of tools to help support each child's unique academic needs. We look at every student individually and create the best plan for them. Three of the main tools we use are our assessment tools, our live virtual classes and self-directed courses, and our curriculum. We begin assessment during your family's orientation period. Your student will take an online diagnostic test that helps identify his or her strengths, challenges, and skills. These assessments help us see if a student needs advanced classes or struggling learner support, or if they are right on target for their grade level. Students also take other tests throughout the remainder of the year to help, access, to help assess progress and ensure they've got a good handle on important content. There are two kinds of courses that students can take at PA Virtual, synchronous and asynchronous. When we do our live open houses, we have a little bit of fun with this slide by using the polling technology available in the software. Participants can select their answer and I can share the results with everyone in the session. This polling tool is one of many tools that our teachers use when providing our students with synchronous instruction. That is, regularly scheduled, live, online classes led by a PA certified teacher. Students can see and hear the teacher just like you could hear and see me and Cindy at the beginning of the presentation. In a synchronous class, Teachers provide instruction and interact with students, and students can ask questions and demonstrate their knowledge. Teachers can also record their synchronous classes for students to review later. In an asynchronous class, lesson plans are provided, but the instruction is done by the main adult at home, the learning coach. Our curriculum includes both student materials and learning coach materials, so you have tools to help with your instruction. Asynchronous classes also have a teacher assigned as a resource 
for learning coaches and students when they have questions or need additional help. A student's customized learning plan will include the balance of synchronous and asynchronous classes that best supports the needs of the child. While students may either be completely asynchronous or have a mixture of both, learning coaches will always have lessons that they are responsible for implementing with their child. The K-12 curriculum. We use the K-12 curriculum with all of our students and we love it. It's a well-respected classical curriculum that was developed specifically for online education. We use it to create an academic plan that meets students where they are and challenges them, but doesn't overwhelm them. The curriculum is set up with checks and balances to make sure students have a good grasp of the current lesson before moving on. We order each student's curriculum individually and ship it to your home. Your materials may include books, workbooks, art supplies, science kits, maps, and any course supplies you might need for the year. A final way we provide individualized support for our students is through programs that help learners with a variety of different needs. At PA Virtual, we see each student as an individual and create a learning plan that meets their unique needs. For our advanced learners, we offer advanced level classes at all grade levels including honors and AP courses for high school, an eighth grade learning academy, and early graduation. For struggling learners, homework help, tutoring, Title I services, and recorded classes are available to all students. We also have a special education department and offer services to students who qualify. Grades 7 through 12 teachers have weekly office hours to make sure students are still on track, and all of our 7 to 12 students have access to resources that can help motivate and encourage them. For example, we have Naviance, a tool that helps guide students' career path exploration and a mentoring program, the Learning Coach. The partnership that we have with our students' parents is a vital component of our school, and it's crucial to your child's success. When parents are involved in their children's education, test scores rise, dropout rates decline, and students become lifelong learners. Every child at PA Virtual has a learning coach. That's the main adult at home. The role of the learning coach can be intense, but it's also intensely rewarding. Cindy, our parent ambassador, is going to take over the mic for a few minutes now to talk a little bit more about the role of the learning coach. Cindy? Thank you, Andy. It's a little bit hard for me to even consider that it was the year 2004 when our family joined Pennsylvania Virtual Charter School. So I was a learning coach for 13 years, and now our daughter is in college at Geneva College in Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. And we are experiencing the empty nest on some levels. But I want to tell you that um, you have a very active role in your family as a learning coach. Becoming a learning coach is often compared to starting a new job. It's a significant time commitment, and there are many new things to learn. And just like with a new job, it may feel overwhelming at first, or it will feel overwhelming at first. But over time, those responsibilities become more familiar, and the learning coach role becomes extremely rewarding as it provides the chance to be an integral part of your child's education. So I'm going to list some ways that you can expect to be involved in your child's education as a learning coach at PA Virtual. The first thing that we encourage all new families to do is to set up a dedicated learning space for your student where the school supplies and curriculum are organized and easily accessible. You're going to learn how to navigate the four educational platforms utilized by PA Virtual. Those educational platforms include Blackboard, Sapphire, Collaborate, and the online school. You will be given a school email address just for the learning coach. You will be reading and responding to those emails twice a day. Next, you will need to develop a school routine for your family to follow each day 
that allows you to work alongside of your students, either supporting them during a live class session or providing direct instruction. Learning coaches with younger students in grades kindergarten through four can expect to work with their students between five to six hours a, every day. This number will decrease slightly as students advance to older grades and become more independent learners. You will be responsible for preparing lessons and materials ahead of time when necessary, and you will work with your student to be sure that all necessary assignments are turned into the student's teachers. You will be the one to communicate with your student's teachers through phone or email, and you'll also handle some administrative tasks, like recording instructional hours. In turn, you and your student will benefit from the support of a dedicated teaching staff and enjoy a rewarding educational journey together. Thanks, Sandy. Thank you, Cindy. When the learning coach and teacher actively work together, students succeed. Teachers and learning coaches do have planned conferences two to four times a year to monitor and develop students' goals, but coaches can reach out to teachers, principals, or other PA virtual staff anytime they need help. While we do use technology to support an effective education, we also encourage our students to engage in activities away from the computer. So art, music, and physical education are all conducted asynchronously at all grade levels. For art and music, the curriculum is supplied for learning coaches to implement. Curriculum can include small instruments like a tambourine or a recorder, CDs of music, paint, play, art prints, and more. While art and music are regular parts of the curriculum for grades K through 8, for grades 9 through 12, music and art are elective courses, with one credit of fine arts required for graduation. For physical education in grades K through 8, you, as the learning coach, plan structured, supervised physical activities for your child, allowing you to tailor the activities towards your child's or family's interests and abilities. For grades 9 through 12, a one-credit physical education class, which combines structured lessons and individual activities, is required for graduation. Core classes like science also include hands-on elements. Students get to use things like microscopes, speakers, magnets, rocks, solutions, and more. And lastly, the daily hands-on activities you do with your student are an important way to help bring their learning to life. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at our technology. The main tools we use are Blackboard, Sapphire, Collaborate, and the Online School, or OLS. Let's take a closer look at each one. Blackboard is a website that functions as our virtual schoolhouse. Logging into Blackboard is the equivalent of walking through your school doors and entering your teacher's homeroom to report as present for the day. Students log into Blackboard and attend classes every school day in order to record their attendance for that day. Blackboard is also used to receive school news, access resources, and coordinate events. Teachers use Blackboard to post assignments and give feedback throughout the semester, and this screenshot shows the Blackboard login page, which has links to tech support and family resources. Once you've logged into Blackboard, you can see school links, announcements, tech FAQs, and much, much more. Sapphire is the portal into student academic information at PA Virtual. It's designed to be viewed by both parents and students. Now this list shows you some of the things you can do in Sapphire. It makes it very simple for a learning coach to follow along with their child's schedule and grades. The software that we use to conduct our live open houses and what we use to record this session is Collaborate. Collaborate is our virtual classroom. It's how we deliver real-time interactive instruction in the virtual setting. Teachers can have prepared slides in the whiteboard like I have here, but they can also draw and type here in real time. In our live session, participants get a chance to use the tools to circle their favorite artwork on this slide, just like I am going to do right now. 
It's tools like this that keep classes engaging, interactive, and fun for the students. The online school is the system where lessons for students are housed. It gives students, parents, and teachers access to daily and weekly plans and provides a place for parents to record their students' instructional hours. Detailed lesson plans are provided for each subject. The system tracks student progress through the curriculum and allows teachers to set and adapt courses for each individual student. Just like in your local school district, PA virtual students are required to meet a minimum number of educational hours. On a day-to-day -day basis, that means about five hours a day for grades K through six and about five and a half hours for grades seven through 12. Keep in mind that those educational hours include both time away and at the computer. Because we are a public school, our students in grades 3 through 8 are required to take the PSSA exams, and high school students take the Keystone exams in algebra, literature, and biology. Students travel to testing sites throughout the state to take these tests over a period of one to four days, depending on their grade level and the tests being taken. PA virtual teachers and staff proctor testing at the sites, and students sometimes get to meet their classmates or teachers in person. The photo on the left is our regional office in Monroeville, just outside of Pittsburgh. This is one of the places that we use as a testing site each year. In addition to academics, we have a full student support services department to help our families with their non-academic needs. The support we provide is an important factor in ensuring our students' success and other schools cannot match what we have to offer. Let's take a closer look at two of the more extensive programs we have, Family Support Coordinators and Parent Ambassadors. Our Family Support Coordinators, we call them FSCs, are full-time staff dedicated to supporting your family. They serve as your regional contact person, manage attendance, and plan outings. They remain the same from year to year, so while your kids grow and change teachers, you continue to have the same FSC. Now families are often curious about how the outings work here at PA Virtual, so let's take a moment to talk about those. Every month, our 10 FSCs have up to three outings in their regions. Outings are optional, so your family can choose which ones to attend. Many of the outings are free, but some do have a cost, usually the price of admission to a site or an event. Siblings and other family members are welcome at all of the PA virtual outings. On this slide, you can see the schedule of outings we had in November. It can give you an idea of the kinds of outings we offer and where they occur. Families are welcome at any outing we offer, not just the ones in your area. Now, along with our teachers, FSCs, and, and parent ambassadors, our FSCs work to make sure that you don't feel alone in the education of your child. Speaking of parent ambassadors, let's turn the mic back over to Cindy to fill us in some more on our parent ambassador program. Okay. Well, I work alongside the team of parents in our school called the Parent Ambassadors, and we can best be described as parents supporting parents. The program is staffed by current and former parents in the school and includes a group of parent volunteers across the state who offer their time monthly on behalf of the school. Our goal is to support and encourage PA virtual parents through the opportunities for parent education and engagement. And here is what our program offers. Our parent education program offers various educational opportunities for learning coaches. And some of these include parent lunch and learn sessions. These are brief online educational sessions that are held weekly. All learning coaches are welcome to attend. Sessions are recorded if you're not able to attend a live session. Online certificate courses. We also provide opportunities for learning coaches to earn educational certificates through free online courses. And then, to encourage parent engagement, our program develops resources for learning coaches that provide tips, tricks, and information on fulfilling your responsibilities. These resources are posted for all learning coaches in Blackboard. We have a parent mentor program. 
The Parent Mentor Program offers one-on-one -on -one mentoring for our learning coaches. This program pairs new parents with an experienced learning coach for year-long mentoring by phone and email. Parent Ambassador Volunteers offer tips and encouragement to the families that they mentor. And the Parent Ambassador Volunteer Program provides volunteer opportunities for our parents. In addition, our regional coordinators and volunteers provide parent representation, support, and feedback to staff. They often serve on committees and focus groups and help at events. We help our parents connect with other parents within the school and within their community. Our goal is to encourage, support, and connect with parents as we partner with staff in this unique model of education. Thank you so much for that, Cindy. All right, so now let's talk about clubs. In addition to our outings, we offer students socialization opportunities through a variety of clubs and groups. Now, traditionally, clubs had been offered for grades 7 through 12, but our families let us know that having clubs for the lower grades was important to them. So, we are now beginning to offer clubs for all grade levels. Last year, the clubs included Eco Club, Student Council, Math Club, National Honor Society, Drama Club, and several Writers Clubs. Clubs form throughout the school year, but there are several already up and running for 17-18. Get Fit, Reader's Theater, Student Leadership, Rotary Service Learning and Leadership, and the Rowdy Robot Show. Now, while we're on the subject of clubs and co-curricular activities, it's important to note that students who attend PA Virtual are still eligible to participate in extracurricular activities at their local school district. So students who'd like to participate in their local school district sports teams and after-school clubs can still do that. We do have so much to offer. What is the best for each student is at the core of every decision we make. We have so much to offer you right from the safety of your own home. At the beginning of the school year, you'll participate in an orientation program that helps you use all of the tools we introduced today. Our seniors finish the year with a cap and gown graduation ceremony and prom and with a diploma that takes them to the next stage of their life. Combined with what we have listed on this slide, you can see that we provide you with everything that you need. Now that you know all about PA Virtual, you're likely wondering how to get started with us. This slide reviews the steps you'll take to enroll your student. The first step is to look for an email from us. For our live session participants, the emails take some time to go out, which is why this slide says, look for your email tomorrow morning. But due to the wonders of technology, your email will arrive soon after you finish watching this video. In the email, you'll find a button to click to schedule your application call with the appropriate enrollment specialist. Once you complete your call, we will help you through the rest of the steps. Completing your online application, submitting your documents, and attending your enrollment conference. If you're not quite ready to begin the application process but do have additional questions, we'd be glad to help. Our contact information will be in the email you receive, so feel free to reach out to us via phone or email. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn more about PA Virtual today, and we hope to be hearing from you soon. Bye-bye.